myself a bit skinnier. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, skinnier is who, man? Are you, are you mas- Oh, brask- I'm brask at the moment, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, can you tell us what the language is? Is it Infernal? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's just all list all of our languages. Yeah. <laughs> is it Draconic? Yeah, it's Draconic. I can no. speak at them. You can speak Draconic, okay, cool. Um, all of the... So at the moment, um, as you guys are going through, you hear a whole bunch of conversation um, going on between the cold moons. And it, it, it kind of just sounds like a lot of like roaring at different pitches. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a weird kind of <laughs> syntax, yeah. Um, oh, scooby <laughs> <laughs> Um And as as like, you can hear it, uh, Trath, you hear the, the voices talking about um, being true believers um, and worshipping a god, essentially. Um, but because you're still like making your way through this cave, it's still quite muffled. Um, as you guys turn around and enter the cave, it's, it's quite dark. Um, and you can see, just lit by torchlight around in a room, there are three cobalts. Um, they're probably about 60, 50 foot away. Um, one has a gigantic shield, um, one has a spear, and one um, has a horn just held in its hand. Uh, you can tell that um, it seems like there is some kind of like alert kind of thing going on here. And if he was to blow the horn, it'd probably ruin any notion of stealth. Right. Uh, um... I cast fire. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to the pipe. Should I cast fireball? No. <laughs> that will bring their alert even more. <laughs> A gigantic <laughs> like explosion. And um, we could just call up and say, that. everything is fine here. How are you? I'd oh. like to minor illusion a sexy cobalt <laughs> as a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, are we doing this? No, I'm, I'm not doing that. No, so uh, just, okay. I'm just teasing. Wait, so can we see them? Yeah. How many are there? Three. 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 And they're like little guys, aren't they? Yeah, they are small. Cobalt are like shit goblins, aren't they? Uh, more <laughs> like dragon goblins, yeah. About what I said. Yeah. Uh, I prefer compounds to compounds, to be fair, because compounds are inventive. Uh, yeah, they're not smarter, aren't they? Generally. Um, let's see how inventive they are when they're uh, not conscious. Everyone, we need to sneak past this alert system. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to cast sleep as a <laughs> um, second level. I oh. have got. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, I was I was gonna cast sleep, but what were you saying? Oh no, go for it. I was just gonna say I've got um pass without trace, which um masks us in a in a veil of shadows and silence. Ooh, that's kind um, of cool. so each creature within thirty feet of us. You oh um, yeah, can't be tracked except by magical means, it says. So, um just more detail, I don't know if you guys are looking at the map right now. Um yep. there are three um, paths you can take. So there's one to the right, there's two to the right, one past them and one before them, um, and a path to the left, just where they are. All right, I'm going to try and knock them out with a second level sleep. I don't think they're very... They don't look very tough, do they? So I'm just going to... Um, without weakening them down. Oops. That's those not the right cobbled, thing. You've got one says humbler, one says shield bearer. Are those any, like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Are they like any different to standard cobbles, like hit point wise or anything? Or who knows, bro? Metagame. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm just okay. gonna um roll a second level uh sleep, which is that plus it. Uh, wait. Oh, hang on. That's only two d8, so I need to do five more. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it didn't roll the others, but. You have an average of 5.5. So that's uh, 41. 41? Yeah. I okay. mean, uh, I probably didn't need the third, uh, second level, but oh well. 
So, um, you can put the Cobalt and the Cobalt Hornbrewer to sleep, but the Shield Bearer is still awake. Oh, okay. Um, I do that then. The Hornblower first, and then, uh, yeah. Um, so as, <clears throat> as you are uh, very quietly cast your sleep spell, um, I just kind of like, like yeah, flute music that just sort of it isn't quite. It's, it's very subtle. It's almost like there's nothing there. They just hear some notes floating through the air, like, what was that? like, like, like a very, very quiet lullaby. Yeah. Um, and next thing you know, you see a cobalt home blower and the cobalt just like falling asleep. Uh, the cobalt um, carrying the shield, which is probably almost as big as he is, uh, turns round and. Uh, you can see he's very inquisitive and somewhat panicking. His back is towards you right now. Um, something quick so he doesn't grab the horn. How far uh, away is he from us? Uh, I'd say about 50 feet. I know the map doesn't represent that, um, <laughs> but I couldn't make the map any paper, unfortunately. Can I use a second level witch bolt? Yeah. I don't think he's that strong. <laughs> well... You know, it's just killing real quick. We can't be able to get information out of them. The other two are asleep. Yeah, we can't get information out of them while they're asleep. Wake one up. I mean, we could... <laughs> I'm up. Wake them up. Whatever you're going to do. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I mean, I can... Let, 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 let me try and get up behind him. Stop could, him getting to the hall. I could probably kill him in one hit, so. Wrap him! Sprint up to yeah. him, though, because he's, he's too far away. Um, That's why I said sneak up to it. Okay. I suppose he's trying to. He's looking at his friends at the moment, so. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're. I'm, I'm going to sneak up as well. Yeah. As far as I can. Do we need to actually roll for stealth? Yeah. Um, can, I, can I, uh, before, before, before anyone... Shikane moves, can I cast Pass Without Trace on all of us? Yeah, if, if you want to. Um, let me just check that spell out quickly. Also, can I uh, say something to the group before they go in? Yeah. Guys, can we, like, maybe get one of them alive? Nope. And tie him up? Nope. I mean, the other two are asleep, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one though. Like plus maybe ten bonus. Holy shit! <laughs> Wait. Plus ten. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we 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 could just like walk right in front of him. <laughs> uh, like that's Skyrim, one problem. Max out stealth. You just crouch in front of people in your head. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. That spell is mad. <laughs> yeah, you doing that? <laughs> How long's yeah, it last? As well? An hour. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Damn! Only one and okay, yeah, we, yeah, we've yeah. done this. Each creature you Power. choose as well, so it's not even no one just like one we're here. people, it's everyone within a 30 foot radius <laughs> if you choose that. Yeah, okay, so... Um, fucking nuts. Mm. That's... Uh, um, plus 10. Do we have so to use 27 for me. Okay. Um, can the rest of you make that check? Uh, I mean... That's 18 for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I do, and then I do plus. So you're just sneaking up to him, like surrounding him. Yeah. Whoever wants to sneak up. Add. Wait, can I already add the? That's an eighteen again. Eighteen. Can I already? Just the entire party sneaking up to this 14. one guy. Thirteen. <laughs> oh, the thing is, I needed to roll with uh, with disadvantage because of my armor. Oh uh, yeah. 13. Did you just roll on that one? Yep. Uh, when you, my, okay, how does stealth checks work? Is it average or is it... I think it's per like, person, but it's, I think it's still based on like a strength check, right? So if one right? person fails, then they get found out, I guess? Or I guess it's DM's <laughs> discretion as well, right? Yeah, no, I, was, I, I was reading about the best way to do with that group stealth checks. Um... But yeah, I think we might be better off just averaging it out if you're moving as a group. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I mean, if someone rolls a one, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he just tripped up and clanged all the way down the stairs. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so if you want to average it out, I've just averaged it, and it works out to be 18 and a half. Yeah, I mean, in trap round of one, so, um, yeah, you kind of done fucked up. All right, yeah, so as you guys... <laughs> Fuck's think, sake! As you guys attempt to like sneak on onto that like, shield, uh, the shield bearer, while he's looking at his friends confused, um, you hear like a whole bunch of clanging metal uh, fall on the floor and a quiet fuck. <laughs> 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 um, as the shield bearer turns round, looking at all of you um, and seeing Trat on the floor, immediately he gets ready for combat. Uh, can everyone roll um, a uh, initiative check, please? Or roll for initiative. Then my, roll, my initiative rolls are always low. Uh, nice. Mm. How does how uh, dashing running work? Uh, you can move twice your movement speed if you fall going in action. Oh, wait, it's it's an action, right? Oh, oh I can uh, still attack Dashing them. is a double movement, yes, an action. Mm. Uh, I can oh, that's perfect. I can don't, forget, now. don't forget we are 50 feet away from the shield bureau. Uh, bureau. Yeah. So now we've snuck up to him. 50 feet, so these scales are... Yeah, I would say you guys managed to make about halfway there. Um, okay. before chat's so, messed up, so... Who's... Yeah, you need to right-click on our tokens and add them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's so annoying. Um... How did you do yourself? God, you got a 22. You can't do it. Uh, Joey needs to do it. Oh, I thought you uh, added no, yourself. So you can sort out your own numbers in the turn order, but Joey has to reorder it and everything. Yeah, I'm even here after you guys done. Yeah, uh, just type your number in on the yeah. Frog's in there twice. Can that I cobble I... got a twenty two on initiative? <laughs> Sorry, Frog, you doing yeah, you did. Um I'm sure Kane's in there twice now. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Shakane Zero, uh and I need Laris and Marwood. Sorry, the tokens are quite small, so Alright, cool. Thank you. So we put uh, battle music on. Oh my god! <laughs> I just realised we're not Fine. listening to music. And that's also just fucked up. Uh, Yanaris, what did you get? Fifteen. Where, where'd you go? I'll I'll put it in. Ember, didn't you? You press enter after you do it. I did, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, alright. Dun, dun, oh, dun, 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 dun. Damn it, you're in that one. <laughs> <laughs> really? I've got something I wanted to do, but I just messed up. Oh, right. Fred Boat's not listening to me. Oh, I'll, see if I can do it. I'll see if I can do it in my turn anyway. Alright. Cool. Um, Alright, let me just. So, the um should bear up. <laughs> Looks at you like panicking. Um, so who's jump why is Jumpy here? <laughs> um, so who's closest right now? It's the cane, right? Probably him because I went in first. Okay, so uh, who I don't know, it's cane's anyway to go or Trath because he yeah, tripped. Everyone towards. was fucking arguing about it, so I was like, fuck it, I'll go first. Yeah, all right, cool. So Himley's Himley's closest right now. Um, so the combo shield bearer like runs up, um, and he attempts to like hit you. Um, do you know? Does he hit me? Is the question. That is the question. The yeah, no. Uh, he attempts to run at you with his spear and attempts to like poke you. Um, but then, as he does that, you just kind of like step out of the way. It was too slow, and you were able to see it. No problems whatsoever. Uh, you're next. Ah, um, 
Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use um, conjure animals okay. and conjure a giant uh, constrictor snake next to the awake guy. Okay. Christ. Yeah, yeah, holy shit, man. Find a token. <laughs> Going from zero to 100 really fucking quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna make for you. Constrict on him. Alright, hold up. What? What snake are you oh, summoning? Very constrict on. Yeah, giant constrictor snake. Uh, constrictor snake. And you're ordering it to attack him. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Like, I'm just trying to get my head around this real quick. Um, let's press 4 to hit. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so, constrict. Uh, do you want to... Yeah, that, that doesn't hit. Um, I went there to spell save these things, holy shit. Sorry, I'm not used to using these things. Uh, escape DC fourteen. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, it does work. Uh, so as the snake appears beside him, the combo doesn't notice until the giant snake wraps itself around him and is now constricted by this gigantic snake. Uh, um. this, is the snake roll initiative? Do I roll for that? Yeah, it's a 1d8 damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one minute, I just need to check. Sorry. <coughs> oh. Okay. Alright, yeah, the snake has to run for initiative as well. Sorry. For this case, I will um, allow it to do that, because that was my fault. Um, but yeah, it's the first time I've come across that spell. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Druids are OP. Yeah, you could just summon eight owls if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can summon eight snakes. I think I'm restricted to four animals. Um, one beast of challenge rating, two, oh, two eight, beasts of one. Eight could be yeah. Yeah. Summon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have eight snakes, eight owls, yeah, eight wolves. Yeah. How, and it lasts for an hour. Ooh. Someone um, um, summon three seahorses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, a giant fire beats on the bell. So uh, just so you know, Demi, right? Since you've cast this spell, your stealth spell yeah. isn't in effect any longer. Okay, that's cool. Yeah? I think that's uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so that you, you have eight snakes right now, right? Wait no, I, I did um, <laughs> a giant snake, so it's just one, I think. Uh, yeah, one giant constrictor snake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold up. Let me look for giant constrictor snake because constrictor snake wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, you know, Make oh, a really roll for big blow. Snake. Okay, yeah. Oh, I rolled... You get no, one no. constrictor snake. Oh, I should have. Oh, it's got two attacks. It can bite or constrict. Yeah. yeah. Constrict um, counts as a grapple. Yeah, so I need strength. to roll for damage. Alright, cool. Um, do you want to roll for damage for that? Yeah, we're Don't just trying to show giant constrictor. Uh, it's 2d8 yeah. plus 4 bludgeoning. 2d8 plus 4. Okay. And grappled. With and he's grappled. Yeah. Okay. He only failed that. So. Wait, what? What's that shot? Oh. So his speed has been reduced to zero. Mm-hmm. Wow. Attack rolls have advantage. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so as in, I squeeze, start squeezing the knife out in the shield bearer. Um, you can see he's really struggling. Takes 13 points of damage. Cool. Um, anything else you want to do, Rose? Uh, no, I'm okay. Yeah? Alright, Frank. Uh. Are we allowed to call out to the teammates when it's now on 10? Uh, what do you mean? No, I would say... I would say you can only do it on your turn. Okay, thanks. Shut up, Mark. 
Can I see that? How how he's doing? How he, how is he doing? Does he look fucked? Oh uh, no, 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 fuck! But he's definitely uncomfortable. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Then yeah, I... you can't move. Which bolt? <laughs> level two or level one? Level one. Oh. Right. Good choice. It's uh -huh. all of us against this one kobold. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this taking so long? Yeah, uh, that, that hits. <laughs> you don't hope so. And you got, you got advantage, by the way. Yeah. I... He won't get crit on you. Oh, I got one. You won't get crit on spells and anything. Oh, yeah. So. Alright, cool. So that's 1d12 points of damage. So as you do this, um, lightning hits uh, the kobold almost like from above, and you can see like his skeleton from where he's getting shocked. Uh, takes 11 points of damage. Cool. Uh, I'm going to say Riz. Uh, not sure, Kane, but yeah. Okay, can I. Um, so, how does. Uh, how does sneak attack work when a snake's on him. Does that count as being flanked? Uh-huh. <laughs> that's, that's an odd one. Um, Matt, he is flanked anyway because Himley's in front of him. Oh, okay. So I'm going to get just behind him. I'm going to kind of circle around him and then uh, try and skewer him between the snake uh, between the snake's body Coils? Um, <laughs> uh, into the uh, into the kobold from behind. Yeah, sure. Uh, if I can find my sneak attack button, which is hiding somewhere. Oh, I don't actually have to do that, do I? It just does it automatically. Okay, so that is a... Oh, Amazing. No. Oh, it's a vantage, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Uh... Come on, Seven. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. If it loads. There we go. That's 22 to hit. Um, total damage 10. Yeah, sure. Um, so as as that he gets shocked and constricted by the snake, you stab him, and the snake's coil wipes the blood off of your silver rapier as you put it out, um, dealing 10 points of damage. He is not looking too healthy. Um, Himley! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy! Axe. Where is my super suit? <laughs> There's a 16 hit. I have advantage on my first and I hit so no. Yeah, yeah. It hits now anyway. So. Is this the great axe with the crystal in it? Yeah. It is, yes. Uh, so that's 9 points of damage? Yeah, sure. Um. So like you hit him like on the head of a great axe, cleaning off like half his face. He's barely hanging on to life right now. Yeah, go ahead. Push him over. You have 25. Oh, is that not 20? Oh no, 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 it's not. No, yeah. Um, so man, how do you want to kill him? Surprise me, dealer's choice. So as you clean off half his face. Um, you then change the angle of your axe and cleave off the bottom half, so there's only left a third of space left. Um, yeah, that falls on the floor, um, and he is dead. Uh, and that is combat over as the rest Thanks, of the like, rock, Um oh, As right. that happens, as that happens, the jewel on your axe begins to glow, uh, and then it settles. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to write in chat. Um, I'll write it to you actually. Let me see. Uh, are you in? Yeah, you are in Discord. Let me see. Um, so. Dead. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I like your tags that you've put on the Twitch, um, <laughs> Rahel. Dice, evil characters, good characters, roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a thousand different tags you have to fucking search through. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how fucking Babacross did 
Dante is dead, lol. Sorry. <laughs> what, <Well>, my Dante? <laughs> Well, building intensifies. But Kobold's <laughs> never got his soul stolen before. <laughs> There's a lot of questions, no doubt. Oh, holy shit. You see that, right? I do. <laughs> Who else has a crystal weapon? I think, did we make me one? I didn't write it down, I think, but did we make me a wand? And uh, Frog <laughs> has a dagger and a sword. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'll let everyone know this. So, anyone who has a melee weapon with a crystal, um, like a dagger or a sword, it then becomes a dagger or sword of mourning. So, if you've killed something in a day, right, you can summon the spirits imbued in that weapon to allow multi strike for 10 minutes, right? This is on the condition that you pass a will save DC, which is 16. If you fail, you become afraid of your weapon for three turns. <laughs> what, so you have to run away from it? Yes. <laughs> I'll okay. just drop it. Okay. Cool. Him is a walking armory. So him is just like in bed what? and an axe Sorry. in... Joe, could you say that again? Like you, and then you, just... You, you <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll type it in, in the uh, Discord quickly. Um, uh, I'll put it in general. So this is this is Himney's version, but of course you can change that with any mini weapon that you have. Um, right. Um, DC sixteen. Goddamn. Yep. That is insane, considering Kimley's fucking wisdom as well. <laughs> Weapon. Himley, could I um, get a hand in smashing Joey. this horn? Yeah, what's up? Unseen um, um, un yeah. can handle the, uh, items, right? Pick up stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take pistol? the whole. Oh, sorry, I can't. What about what? Sorry? A pistol. Um, even if it had a pistol, it could probably move it about, but it can't attack. I just turned you up, uh, turned you up. Because you're already quiet. Oh, no, <laughs> I can't hear you again. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, it could, it could handle a pistol, but it wouldn't really be able to attack with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That is the effect that your crystals have on the um, on your weapons. Nice. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Put that in. All right. I think I'm gonna. Anyone else want to interrogate this guy with me? What? Uh, one of the kobolds killed without a face. Obviously not that one. Nah, I will go for it. Axe. We've got we've got two two kobolds here. Let's take the horn away so they don't start blowing on this. It's, uh, yeah, I've already picked that away. Cool. No, kick it away. No, I'm just putting it in my bag. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Um, so you pick up the horn and put it in your bag, Marwood. Um, and what are you doing with this horn from a cobalt? Um, Riz? Anyone got rope? Yes. Uh, we'll untie who's in front. Is it Yolaris? We'll untie the Yolaris and just 
play up the cobalt. Yeah, cool. Uh, can you start a hand check? Who wants to? Who wants to tie it up? Time up. <laughs> yeah, time up. Uh, da, 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 Done. Twenty-seven. Whoa. Yeah, that is the tightest rope. You are. You were a uh, navy <laughs> sailor. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to make myself into just a much beefier, scarier-looking version of Brask. Yeah. So all of you, all of you, sort of see like out. these bones and muscles like shift underneath Rizzy's skin. Uh, as he becomes a lot bigger and a lot larger and a meaner looking orc. And I'm going to just slap it awake. Okay, yeah. Um, so with a gigantic orcish hand, you backhand it across uh, and a tooth goes flying out of its face as it wakes up and starts screaming. Hello like there, little one. <laughs> nah, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to walk up to Chicane and say, uh, all right, you be bad cop, I'll be good cop. <laughs> Can you speak into a <laughs> Someone can speak in the <laughs> Okay. I can. Yeah. Oi, what do you hey, trap hey. over here. What do you want me to say to him? Speak common, little one. He still just keeps screaming. <laughs> hey, buddy, buddy, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> And I say he, that in Draconic. We won't hurt you if you stop screaming. Uh, he looks at you for like two seconds in silence, and he goes, ah! I want right, to I'll walk up to him and say, you can either die, or I could bring back your buddy to life. <laughs> and I say that in Draconic. Um, just a quick question. Isn't the third one still asleep? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna... He's, only wo he's not woken up by sounds, I think, if, with the sleep spell. It's only if someone actually, like, shakes them awake. Yeah, yeah so physical contact. So if I was yeah. to pick them up, would you wake up or not? Most certainly, yeah. But yeah, I ask him if he wants to die or if he wants me to bring back his body. He doesn't understand you. <laughs> translate. <laughs> Luca can translate. I, yeah, 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 I, yeah. Mm, um, in the uh, cold world, full silent. We're back and looking shock and fear in its face. I, I missed a lot of that because I just crashed it. Is the other one tied up as well now? Or? One is dead, Whoa. one's tied up and he's sort of asleep on the floor. He's not going anywhere. Oi, Traff, tell this yep. one, uh, ask this one if, if he knows what black powder is. Do you know what black powder is? Uh, black, black powder, black powder, powder, black, black, boom powder! Yes, yes, I know. Good, um, good, good. Yeah, he, he knows, he knows. You've, you've got some recently. Where... Where are you keeping it? Uh, further in, yes. Mm, yeah, it's closer, closer to, to, to the pink one. The big one? The big one. What's the big one? The one that's pink. One of you? No, no, no. Pink, bigger. Much bigger. Must be a friend of Mole. What's he look like? <laughs> uh, pink, many eyes, pink eyes. Shadows. Many eyes, guys. Many eyes. Okay. All right, buddy. Many heads. No, no. One, one, one head. Do oh, I recognize this? What it sounds like? Uh, I've got a research trait, if that matters, to. Yeah, I would say you can do an arcana check, I suppose, yeah. Uh, to you, it sounds like a beholder. Oh, hmm, my yeah, friend, well. sounds like a beholder. <laughs> the fuck is that? Yeah. Behold, <laughs> my stuff. Marwood knows. <laughs> Behold, Mar 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 my knows. It's a very traditional D&D monster. Wait, is that what I think it is? What? You know, it's an guide to everything? It's that big eyeball thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, behold, yeah. that's our boy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like them. Yeah, not fighting them there. If there's okay. a saying of there's many ways to skin a cat, the beholder is there's many ways to fuck a team. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for real. Beholders are nasty, man. Really nasty. So, I uh, I asked the kobold, um, will you show us 
the way if I bring back your friend to life. Life? Why do you need black powder? Life? Life from boom powder? I didn't care about him anyway. No. How about your life? Well, how about I just do it anyway? How about your life? And I, I point my... Uh... <laughs> I've got a rapier. I'll so point my rapier at I would like to raise a kobold. <clears throat> you want to raise the kobold? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can resurrect the kobold. So, um, I'm going to do this in order. So, uh, I'll get to your stuff, Michael, in a second. Um, so, as <clears throat> as you like resurrect the kobold, it starts in like a almost stop motion way. Um, comes back onto its feet with a blank stare in its face and no pupils in its eyes. Um, and as you threaten the kobold, the kobold goes, yes, but but the big one will get us. Don't you worry about the big one right now. I'm the only big one you need to worry about. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, you're very big. <clears throat> Why do you need black powder? Well... For boom. What boom? What boom are you planning on? Uh, what do you want to go boom? No, big boom. Boom everywhere. Cobalt Where? have tunnels. Boom tunnels. Boom and someone. Uh, Jules and Dooms. Yeah. Demi. Uh... Um, disconnecting. Hmm. Are you going to use it to dig? Yes, dig. Make your tunnels bigger? Yes. No. It what you're digging like towards? That's the tunnels, and they're filling Home? the tunnels with boom. All right. Big one sent home. Dig. Ah, big one's home, not your home. No, my home. Big one sent dig. Hmm. Well, ask them where these tunnels are. What do these tunnels go under? I don't know. I don't care. Just think. Does he speak common as well now? Or? No, just um, going I'm, through I'm, I'm assuming it's going through trust and trust. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just repeat everything they say, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If one person can speak draconic, everyone can speak draconic. Unless Chaff uh, decides to withhold certain information. Right, no, I don't want to. I will share everything that they say and that the cobalt sales says. Okay, cool. All right then. Uh, I mean, I've got nothing else to ask. I'm Anything worried that these tunnels are already full of some boom powder, and regardless of whether we take the boom powder, I, I mean gunpowder, <laughs> they might still blow up the tunnels anyway. This could cause huge boom destruction. Powder. We can just ask him. How far out of the city are we at the moment? Uh, you're probably about a good 40 minutes away from the city. Mm. How much boom powder? Mm, are you asking him or...? I'm um, asking him. Yeah? Uh, Draft, are you asking him or...? One barrel? Right, I'm asking him. Two barrels? Ah, mm. uh, many barrels. Many, many, many barrels. Many barrels. Big boom. Big boom. All at the same time? No, no. Big boom. Different booms, many booms. Different booms, many <laughs> booms. All right. Where booms? Deeper tunnels, booms home. I guess we've got to tell him to show us the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the, the cold mode starts looking panicking, starts screaming again. Pick <laughs> 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 <Back> up. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Huh? Oh, oh. Huh? What are you saying, Frank? He's, he, we've got him restrained, right? Yeah, yeah, he's in a rope right now. So, I mean, if when you attack something that's restrained, can you just one kill shot? Or... Um, in... You want to chop his head off? Yeah, in d, d terms, that's a no. Like, the rules don't say that you can do that kind of shit. You um, could just repeatedly bash him until he's Yeah, you could just repeat I'm not. I'm not going to make you, like, roll fucking... Initiative to do it, like, but who's yeah. got their portable guillotine? Because <laughs> I, I mean, we've run our use with him. We might, I might as well just recycle him. 
Hey, show us the uh, show us the boom powder, and then he leads the way. He's screaming. I think he wants to lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, gag him so he can't scream. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what, what are you guys doing right now? Also, are you Sam guys going to the top of your head? Shoot! What, I don't know. My <laughs> back's really bad. Oh. So Jerry must be in lots of pain. I'm okay right now, funny enough. I think, I'm yeah. like, oh, hunched over on my bed rather than in the chair. That's Gag him right. so he doesn't scream and then get him to lead the way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who's gagging him? Don't know. I yeah. like to do it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I just put my fist in his mouth. <laughs> okay. are, are you doing that, Henry? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, you, you want to ram your fist in his mouth? Yeah. And, How would you do that? Then, yeah, I don't know. And then what, what do you intend to do past that? What do you I mean, hope to gain from this? Hit it on your fist. <laughs> yeah, him, I, isn't it? I'm just going to keep on pushing him forward because that isn't really him losing the way, is it? <laughs> <laughs> You raise a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this from like a pair perspective, not from DM's perspective. No one I mean, else said anything that, in the ways of gagging him, so... I mean, yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. Um, Chris, would you... I've got a bottle of ale. I'm going to shove the bottle of ale because he's got a long snout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to open it and then shove the bottle of ale in his mouth and then tie it on. So he can have a drink if he wants. But, yeah, um, yeah. Okay. If he tries to if he tries to make noise, it will just be like you know because if he shouts, oh. like it's a really a really quiet little sound. Yeah, let me um let me just uh. Okay, yeah, he survives. Yeah, um. He survives me putting a bottle in his mouth. Well, the thing is, is that you know you're like I'm making full string, full string. Yeah, he might choke on <laughs> the so, Okay. Matt, he he rolled a twenty, so he's he's alive. A little bit drunk, but alive. Um, More compliant. Deeper uh, in a bowl. Yeah. So. Um, Has, he, uh, he, what's up? Sorry, no. Frog's already reanimated the other dead one, hasn't he? Yeah. Damn it. You didn't get crystal. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get my crystal in there quick first. Well, there's that other Cornwall chin in there. He's oh yeah, asleep. friends. What are we doing with this other the the cold board that's been asleep? I say we recycle him. Yes, I, I would like uh, to lead this cold board out the room before you do I that. Actually <laughs> have, uh, I actually have a genuine experiment I want to try right now. Oh, okay, uh, as, as do I. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let uh, Riz lead the other cold board out in the room. What no, entrance are you taking? I don't know, whichever way he takes us. Wait, I actually require this cobalt for the experiment, if possible. Okay. What is your experiment? Um, so, because my wand has one of those gems in it, obviously it has a um, morning effect. And I want to see if I can actually raise one as I kill it with my wand, and then raise one, and you reuse that action to raise another and have three cobalt zombies. But it's not okay. melee weapon. Yeah, so I, I will tell you this as that mechanically, it doesn't work that way. So it gives you multi strike, not multi cast. Oh, okay. Only if you yeah. stab someone with your wand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Okay, that's fine. Take him yeah. away. Alright, cool. So I'll let him lead the way. <laughs> okay. You know. My experiment is I would like to. I'm one of those toddler leashes. Oh. <laughs> uh, what, what do you want to do, um, Sam? As we did with Himley's Apprentice, I would like a little cobalt crystal. Yeah, sure, if you want to go ahead and do that. Uh, you can sit in throat in his sleep, I suppose. Ooh, uh, can I have a hand? Um, who who would like to slit this? Uh, I'm going to go for cobalt. Himley. <laughs> <laughs> he seems Himley, like he would can, I, can I have a hand? Well, Could you just uh, quickly dispose of this kobold's life, please? Uh, right, I'll, I'll be ready with my crystal. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, right. it's, it's a roll, or are we just assuming that they're dead? Yeah, no, you're fine. 
No, I'm going to die in this circumstance. It's only a fucking core mold. Okay. Um, so I yeah. pulled my crystal out, and instead of his head this time, I'm going to try just try stabbing him, maybe just in the chest. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> The same thing. The same thing happens. So um, you stab him in the chest with this crystal, um, and when you put it to your ears, you can hear that cobalt screams. <laughs> oh, interesting. And in my bag, I have a, I have a hand here, and I pull out the hand, and I put the crystal into the palm of one of the hands. Uh, nothing happens. Oh, you're so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll take the crystal out, put the hand away, and keep the keep the crystal in my pocket. It's All, right. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so uh, the cobalt begins to lead you um, through the path on the right hand side. Um, uh, let me just reveal that for you. Yep. Um, and as he does so, um, he continues to make his way. To the left as you go down, meandering your way through these corridors. Is everyone going? Or you okay, say, anyone following? <laughs> yes, I am happy for the oh. cobalt to lead the way and uh, hopefully not You're so right loudly. Do you guys um, want to move yourselves so I know where everyone is? Yelaris, should we be sneaky? Should oh, can I take, can I take my cobalt? Uh, yeah, let me just give me. Was that the shield bearer? Yes. yes. Can we just assume my snake is alongside me or behind me or whatever it needs to be? Yes, it's a drawing. So you're fine. <laughs> you, you can carry it. I can move it. <laughs> oh, can you? Cool. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> where, where, where do you want it to be? Wait, just, how can you just move it? Oh, just just I drew it. <laughs> it's just wrapped around. I drew. But, like, in a friendly way. <laughs> Doing what? Sorry, wrapped around you. Yeah, you go. you've got a zombold now. Frank. <laughs> Do, what, what are the stats for my zombold? It's the same as any zombie. Sick. It's just small. Do you want me to add it to your phone? zombies? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> uh, Should we be? He's got a running tally of all of his zombies. <laughs> Sneaking with Bless you. magic Gilaris used on us moments ago. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm? All right, so is everyone together, right? Yeah. Trust, if you want to move your portrait, we appreciate it. Oh, yeah. How do you use my sight? All right, cool. So as you guys are walking through here, um, you can see an opening uh, into, like, a big hall, which looks like a bunch of, like, tables. And you can see a whole bunch of other kobolds sitting there eating. Um, I hug, the, hug our, our little friend back. You tug the little friend back. Um, as you do that, he shouts. Um, and with the He's whole got the bottle in his mouth. Uh, huh? He's got the bottle in his mouth. Yeah, but he can still make a whole bunch of noise, right? Ah. And he's not far. So, oh, look. So here is what you can see. Um, and as that happens, and he sees you guys down a corridor, and the cobalt at the end pulls on a lever. Um, can all of you do an exterior saving so please? Oh, no. Mm. God damn you, Walter Hell. Is it 20? 18. 16. Alright. Did I roll a 9? Oh my yep. god. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Was it your roll initiative? Uh, no, dexterity. Sorry guys, we're just moving because the internet keeps cutting out. So we're moving uh, closer to the router. <laughs> Alright. Try turning it off and on again. Alright. <clears throat> Wait for Jules and he can roll. I think he's there. Do you have a runner? Okay. <laughs> Anyone who rolled beneath a ten 
Um, so as that as that um, as that lever is like pulled, um, you hear like a swoosh, and a giant log swings down from like above. Those of you that recognise the swoosh and and log coming behind, you dive just in time. Everyone who rolled beneath a ten takes thirteen points of damage and are pushed out into the <laughs> open of the uh, the room where the cold are. Doesn't that insta kill frog? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did he take 30? 13. What's that, like, half so, your health? Oh, 13. Oh, cool. Uh, and I would say the zone point goes with me, too. Fuck him. Uh, can everyone roll for initiative, please? Dun, 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 dun. Do you guys see my roll? Uh, let me just clear this. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a 14. Yeah, cool. It's giving me funny alerts. Thank you. What is red circles? Tables. I couldn't get them in time. Bicep, Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there, man. Uh... Everyone's putting theirs in, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, trap hasn't. No, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Where is it, shite? Where am I? Damn. I'm not on the. Oh, uh, whoops. No, he's put you in. Uh, That's a big initiative tracker. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, no, no thing to so we'll try and get through it first. Uh, you're on a tracker now, Demi. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> D&D tracker go Quick question, if I dash during the turn, oh. do I still get to attack because I've got two attacks per turn? Hmm. I would say yes, because... Yeah, I would say yeah, you can still get to attack. Yes. I do have a pen Red here. circles on the map, Joey. Tables. Hmm? Tables. Oh, okay. I, I couldn't get any tokens. We're gonna... So I had to make the... Uh, who is in front of me? Almost everyone, okay. Uh, no, not almost everyone. Three guys, okay. Be right back. You can still combat if you want to. Sorry, I'm just writing down, um, HP values. Um. Uh, for reference, Sam, Joey said the, uh, Map isn't exactly to scale. Yeah, okay. Oh no, just that first part wasn't the rest oh, of the okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He just uh, ran out of space off the bottom when he was drawing it. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me. Walking is 35. Ooh. 35. I can narrowly reach the guy. The You're quite fast. Ooh. I have 35 walking Ooh. speed and my axe has a 5 foot range, which means I can. High walking the speed. And uh, I can still hit him with both my attacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, it's one of the 
Cool. Um, are we, are we all here? I think so. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah. so in Cornwall, Sorcerer sees their intruders and snarls. Um, and his hands begin to like light up with this intensity of, of fire. And as he does that, he lets loose three beams of fire aimed at my and Frank and Riz. So. What's everyone's AC? 13. 12. And uh, Frank? Um. 10. Um, <laughs> so. So, um, two uh, the scorching rays just like miss Marmon and Chicane and one that's struck in his chest, steaming. Nine points of fire damage. Is Frog dead yet? Nine. Yeah. No. Uh, hit me, you're next. Okay, okay. Um, I've got enough walking speed and I should be able to. There's a tape in there, but that way. Oh no, that's a Zombolt. Perfect. Yeah, there's a cardboard right next to the. I'm just gonna run all the way up to the sorcerer up here. You leave my zombie over there. Yeah, I thought it was an enemy, so I was like, oh no, I'm gonna get a fucking hit, but thankfully not. And because I have a wonderful attack range of five, I can still hit him in range. So mm -hmm. let's go. Uh, Nineteen. Mhm. Mm that hits. And that's fourteen points of damage. Yeah. Um. So just after. He like fires his rays of like fire. You sprint like after him with the racks in the air and cleave him across the chest, dealing how much points of damage? Fourteen. Fourteen. Do you get a double hit on that? Or? I do. I'm gonna roll again for that, which is a. Yep. Uh, Nineteen again. Yeah. So you <laughs> embed your axe in the, damage. You embed your axe like in his chest and you pull it out again and cleave him straight in the head. He slides off of your axe and goes on the floor, brain matter everywhere. Um, he is now dead. <laughs> First Damn kill man. of the game, boy! Oh, well, this is a fight. <laughs> cool. Um, the shield bearer looks at Himley and looks at his dead uh, friend on the floor and ends up screaming, like, ah! and uh, attempts to attack me. Um, give me a second, guys. Trying to remember all my fucking PBFs are. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, and one thing I didn't forget to mention, which is my fault. All the kobolds are blue. I assume that means something to some people. <laughs> Normally so, yeah. Small details like that are only specific to be thrown in, which means it does mean something. <laughs> Can any of us... Does anyone... Any, I mean... I'm probably not very knowledgeable about kobolds, but does any anyone's uh, characters know about them? Oh. Uh. Himley pulls out his uh, Google phone and decides to Google. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So he attempts to attack you with his spear. What shall you see, Himley? 18. Um, so yeah, he stabs you in the side, piercing you a little bit, you take five points of damage. Cool. Chicane, you're next. Right, no, um, no, 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 stop, stop. I'm not, uh, Chicane is not next, I have rolled a 15. Oh, my man, oh. I forgot to resort it afterwards. Uh, that's my man. I can drop, can strike trap up to the top. Yeah, that's plan, and then I need to put, uh, Yenaris up there as well. Above the combo neutral. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, so, Trath, you're next. Okay, 5, 10, 15, <clears throat> 20, 25, 30, and then I'm right here, right next to the cobalt, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, I'm gonna hit it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hit it again. Is the sorcerer dead? Yes. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, with my sword. It's okay. Twenty plus seven. Okay, that doesn't <laughs> quite hit, I think. Uh, but I'm gonna hit it anyways again with mm -hmm. my second action. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that hits. Enough damage. I think Cobble's gonna have like 10 AC. Four. And uh, does the, the extra damage also apply? Yes. Uh, what was it again? Let me check. Oh. Uh, D4. <laughs> Okay. It's fitting how I've called this the mm -hmm. uh, natural one. That's <laughs> 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 like the fourth one this game. Uh, yeah. Um, so as you stab um, the kobold with your sword, uh, like right in the chest, um, the black and white spreads from its chest throughout the, throughout the rest of its body, and it crumples down in a black mess on the floor. Interesting. Um, cool. Chicken, you're next. Okay, so I am going to uh, run around to here. Mm -hmm. Actually, more like here. Um, and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave or sort of this area in front of me. So yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, as a first level spell. Mm hmm. Nine damage, and that is a fifteen Constitution save. Nine damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you run over there um, after all this commotion is going on, and clap your hands, and a force so strong it knocks one of them back into the table, and oh. knocks the other one back near the entrance, and they take nine damage each. Uh, cool. Who's next? My word. Mm -hmm. My word. Nope. Here, Tinsy. Bye bye, Jules and Demi. Oh, well, there we go. Welcome back, Jules and Demi. Hi. Whoa. Whoa. So, Demi is Riz the Bard. The Shield Bearer alive, and. Where's the other one? I am was one... the gate, the Grave Digger. <laughs> so, it's Kobold. Uh, oh, there Archer is alive, Archer is alive, uh, and Shieldbearer is alive. These two have just taken a hit, though. The two closer to me. Yeah. Michael is now uh, fucking I'll... hilarious. Sam is Riz, and Joey is Marwood. <laughs> and the music bot is a DM, so... <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> Good luck, guys. Uh, I'll move behind this table. <laughs> in the corner here. <laughs> and... Fireball, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Firebolt. Him Himley oh, Firebolt, okay. Uh -huh. I was going to say, Himley's right in the middle of that. I'm <laughs> 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 probably Kratos in, in range uh, as well, and I might be. Who are you fireballing? Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, cool. Uh, roll for damage, please. Oh, uh, roll to hit, sorry. Alright, I think this is to hit. 19. Yeah, that hits. And then damage. 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 What the fuck? Damage has already been hit too. <laughs> yeah, um, you uh, <clears throat> you let loose a firing bolt from your hands, and it hits the cold bolt like right where its heart would be. You see boiling flesh start to sizzle when the smell of burnt flesh uh, fills your nostrils. And everyone else it, it takes nine points of damage. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Do it again! <laughs> you can't. Bye. I can, I can. <laughs> You're nervous. I okay. can though, it's called a spell slot. And I yeah. use my spell slot okay, to fine. use quick and spell. Okay, fine. <laughs> Not For the big guy. For the same one again. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you let loose another firebolt uh, consecutively following that first firebolt and it just melts the compound skin off of its face and falls down onto the floor of bed. <laughs> cool, let's just get him the fuck out of here. Cool. Um, so, who's next? You know, who's next? Okay. Um, so, I've missed like, we missed like most of the battle. Alright, well. <laughs> What's happened? Who's been here? Right, so, like, two left. 
There's two left. Combo Knock Jump B and Combo okay. Shimpo. Okay, so those two that are still there. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna... Wait, hold on. I don't think I can do much because I'm too far away. Uh, I'll just move into the room. <laughs> um, with my snake, and I'm gonna use a uh, moonbeam on the shield bearer. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, sure. Moonbeam. Uh, Let me. That's an interesting spell to take. Hmm. Radiant damage for 15. Wow. Okay. Also, yeah. Like, um, flames. Uh, so, just so you know, Demi, right? If you do this, your constrictor disappears. What? Yeah. Oh, Wait, is constrictor a concentration? Yeah, it's concentration. Oh. Okay, um... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, right. You wanna get rid of your constrictors to cast this in one spell? Yeah? Yeah, you Wait, no, 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 actually, no. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. If I move 30 feet... What? Nothing. Why are you laughing? Oh. Um, if I've moved 30 feet, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I then send my snake out to do his 30 feet? Uh, well, your snake was where you were, so you only end up having the limitations of where that moved. But he didn't move, is what I'm saying. Oh. The snake was wrapped around her. The snake was wrapped. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it was wrapped around you, then yeah, fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna send my snake to try and constrict uh, the the one in front of him. <laughs> okay, and then come on, show bear again, right? Uh, what is the saving throw from that? Is it 16? Yeah, that works. So your snakey snake. Snizzards across the ground, um, into oh, not you know, it's um, snizzards across the ground and constricts the combo and shield bearer. Do you want to roll for damage, please? Demi, it was 2d8, yeah. I believe, plus four. Which yeah, 2d8 nine? plus four. Got nine. Nine. Yeah, um, so it squeezes him tightly, and you can see him sort of like running out of breath a little bit. Um, otherwise, though, he's still doing okay. Alright, cool. Common Archer B is going to see what happened to the snake um, going around at the Common World Shield Bearer and decides to take an attack at you, Timmy. Uh, what's your AC, Timmy? 13. Yeah, no, that hit. Um, <laughs> You have to roll for concentration as well. Yeah. Um, so he gets, he knock, knocks his arrow into his bow and shoots an arrow straight into you, um, just clipping your shoulder. You take seven points worth of damage. Can you make a constitution? Is it a constitution, isn't it? Yeah. Constitution saving throw, please. Um, your snake disappears. No! I'm sorry. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> snake. No. Oops, that's cool. Ripping my last disappeared. <laughs> 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 um, alright, cool. Frank, you're next. Frank? Sorry? Frank's next. Oh, okay. Okay, boy. Uh, well, I'll send Zombold. To get in front of uh, <laughs> the archer and attack him. Okay, cool. Uh, you can go for that. He didn't take his hand off, so he hasn't got a sharp <laughs> bone. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Fair enough. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then I will use fireball. On the yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that hits. Buff damage. Nope. 
if two D ten. Ah, that's pretty miserable. Um, yeah, uh, you let Lucas fire out from your hands, and it swings past um, Trust and the Jumbled. Trust, you just imagine just like moving out and away a little bit um, as it clips the shield bearer in its knee, um, causing the flesh to kind of bubble, but otherwise not doing too much damage. Um, all right. And this guy's dead. Himney. Yeah, bonk on the head. There's a 21 hit. Yes. 13 <laughs> damage. Alright. Um, you hit your head? Yep. Yeah, come 19. 19 damage. Uh, 19 and 50 damage. Test. Enough? No, not enough to kill it. Oh. Uh, what's that? Thir 13 plus 15. Is this a shield bearer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you hack on both sides with your um, axe, uh, and blood comes spilling out in like a pool underneath its feet. It cries out in pain. Um, it's definitely looking worse for wear. Alright. You come on, Sean Bearer. He's going to attack him. Me. Um. Right, thank you. Yeah, no, it tries to like stab you and once again you step out of the way almost like nonchalantly just like batting it away as he tries to stab you. Um Trust, your turn. Mm hmm Your turn. I will move up over here. Yeah. And I will attack this guy. Yeah. That one. Yeah, sure. Uh go ahead. 15. Yeah, it's. 10 and yeah. 33. Uh, yeah, so um, just over the table, you lunge over and like stab it uh, in the back, and the tip is just enough to let blood flow. Um, okay. Um, and the um, the approach to spread to the body again. Um, <clears throat> and as that happens, your sword once again increases its grip back on your wrist um mm -hmm. and you gain a temporary hit point oh mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> a temporary hit point he, uh, is he Thank dead, dead or May I have no? he's not that red yet right he's what? dead he's dead okay yeah. then i will uh attack the shield hero yeah my go second ahead. Action. Mm -hmm. better not steal my 43 son of a bitch. yeah hit. 11 uh, and 3. Uh, how do you want to kill it? You are a son of a bitch. <laughs> Steal that kill. Wait again, how did I uh, kill the other one? I just stabbed him in the back, right? Yeah, yeah. Then I will just go in and, like, when I pull it out, I will accidentally actually slice the shield bureau. Okay, so you tip, and then almost like you know the mummy. When like he swings the sword backwards and gets the skull off the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll say you do that. And as that happens, um his skull turns like deathly black and it spreads throughout the rest of his body. He too um falls to the ground in a rotten stupor. Does he hit the ground running? Hmm. He's dead, mate. Oh. Uh you gain another temporary hit point choice. I like that. Hmm. So, everyone is dead apart from the kobold that was still tangled up in the rope. He has managed to fall down to the ground and is not able to do anything or get up. Fucking dumb dumb. Some food ready now. <laughs> I would like to summon another kobold and eliminate John B. Yeah, and I'd like to use my crystals on the uh, the same crystal with the first kobold in it. On the the one I melted. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Um. Dab. And you can hear a cobalt scream, but it's still just one voice. I'm gonna have to drop out, and then I'll uh, read uh, in a bit. I tell you what, Michael, if you can give us that three minutes, we're almost done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. 
How many kobolds did we kill? Can I just and frog summon in one? Can I just stab all the rest of them with the same crystal? I think yeah, it's five. Like, yeah, it's five. So you have summoned another one. Uh, I'm going to the shield power, so I'm going to call him. Uh, uh, I brought Zumbold one, Zumbold two. Uh, I am going to call it. Yeah, that's fine. His name is Colby. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. Um, thanks, you guys. Uh, so the combat's done, um, and ahead of me you can see another pathway leading into another room. Are we all level up? No. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, so, so, so how many kobolds were in this fight? Five? There were five. There's four that you stabbed your crystal into. So I stabbed four and plus the original one. So I've got mm -hmm. five in this crystal now. Okay. You can only hear I, I one kobold voice. Yeah, I can only hear one voice. Cool. Okay. All right. Sweet. Stab, 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 stab. Mm, hello, my little kobolds. How are you doing in there? Screamy, screamy. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> Let's uh, keep going then, shall we? I need, oh, I got, I need to hold on. Wait up a second. Yeah, he's still on the floor, tied up. I want to loot the sorcerer on the floor. Yeah, I'm not investigating. Uh, Oh boy. Ooh. What are you doing? Oh, let me just... I, com I completely forgot about looting. Um, <laughs> can I loot the entire room? <laughs> can I loot the entire universe? Oh, damn it. <laughs> um, you loot him and you find a green slime pot. Nice. Green slime, slime pot? Mm -hmm. can, I, can I check if I know what this does? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the um the li I'm gonna gonna grab the little guy by mm -hmm. trap over here, um, and I'm gonna like point at him and be like, really intimidating, like, don't you try that again? Mm -hmm. You stay quiet this time, and you lead us you lead us in. If you um, try and grab their attention again, that's it. He doesn't respond. Uh, I think he will definitely try this again. He. You've already threatened him a couple of times, and he didn't seem like he cared for his life very much when he was doing this. He was in the tunnel, in the trap, when well, he then made I them Well, then I tie him to a, uh, a table leg and just leave him there. <laughs> yeah, you sure? Um, he's kind of just, like, devastated and the death of one of his friends. I just pat him on the head as I leave. Yeah, all right, cool. I tell him it was his fault that this happened, so then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. God, that 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 all over again. All right, um, Sorry, what are you guys... So, are you guys continuing on? Yep, but I'm not going I, first, I, because despite the fact that I look really muscly and big, I'm not right now. <laughs> he will go first. All right. Um, uh, are you guys going wrong. through stealthily, or...? I'm going through stealthily, yeah. Himly? Yeah, I guess why not. Yeah, I'm well, at the rest of you. Anyone who can heal me. Marmad yeah, is me not going too. Stealthily. I can. Oh yeah, I can. I can heal you. I'm gonna heal I'm, you. I'm at the. I'm, I'm at the, the back though. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you so much. It's very appreciated. Um. Hmm. I don't have a lot of spell slots left. Hey. Uh, How hurt are Harris, you? Can we get that magical <laughs> stealth bullshit again? Really hurt. The what one? Okay, I'll give you a second level, but that's my last second level spell. Yeah. So that's a 12. I mean, unless, unless anybody's a, a, a objects to a short rest. Oh no, 16, sorry. 16 you get. The short rest give us health? Uh, yeah, you can spend a hit now. But, again, I'm, we have to... I'm... I'm not feeling very well, but it's okay if I just sit down on one of these tables or quick and just take a little bit of a rest, please. <laughs> you guys want to take a short rest? Yeah, yeah um, like. but yeah, I do have to go. Alright, cool. No worries, we'll leave it there then. Okay. All right. I mean... Bye, have fun. Can I do my, uh, what's a hit die? What do I roll? Uh, so, what, what was your original hit dice? You are a sorcerer, right? 
a d6 probably or a d8. I think it's a d8 only wins it's a d6. So you can spend a d8 dice. Uh, you can spend up to six d8 dice uh, to heal yourself. I think. Wait, isn't he level? Uh, aren't you level five? No, he's level five. So five d8 dice to heal yourself. Oh, okay. But you run out of hit dice unless you have a long rest and then you get them back. Yeah, I'll just roll two d8s. Oh, that's nice. So I've got three left. I mean, make a note of that somewhere. Um, if you have, if you're doing it all on uh, beyond D and D, you should have it. Done. Yeah. Okay. Where are the hit dice? Uh, 